Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is featuring the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. I know I'm a bit behind. I'm really trying to catch up on all the releases that I missed out on the last two months. So please bear with me. Also, if there's something that you really want to see, please let me know down below and I'll try and work on that a little bit faster. So Urban Decay did send me this collection. So thank you so much to Urban Decay for sending it out to me. Also for sending the giant cherry. Wait, let me just show you this cherry. I now own a giant cherry. <laughs> I did create three eye looks for you guys today. I tried to keep them on the simpler side, kind of more basic wearable because, you know, Urban Decay tends to be a brand that, you know, the average everyday makeup wearer likes to wear. I hope you guys like them. And I have a bit of a review at the end of the video, so please stay tuned for that. And if you'd like to see the three looks I created using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette, then please keep on watching. All right, to start off look number one, I'm taking the Alkaline Eyeliner Pencil, and this is just on a concealer base. I haven't said it or anything yet. And I'm just going to be um, blending that into the skin. You guys have seen me do this before. I really like using bases. It kind of makes the shadows pop and makes it so much easier. So I did set this off camera with just a powder. And now I'm taking the shade Juicy on the brush that they gave us in the palette. And I'm applying this to the crease. I did switch to a fluffier brush because I wanted this to be a little bit softer going up into the crease. Now I'm just taking Hot Spot and I'm going to make sure this is all nice and blended out. And I picked up the previous brush again just to make that a little bit more intense in the crease. So now I'm taking the shade Devilish on a, I wouldn't say it's a pencil brush, but it kind of is. It has that shade. It's from Zoeva. And I'm concentrating that color in my crease and in the outer V of my eye. And then I'm going back in with more of Juicy to blend that out. Now I just kind of go over this a couple of times just to intensify the pigment. And of course go back and blend everything out. And now what I'm doing is taking a very tiny like smudging brush and I'm using this same shade Devilish and really concentrating that pigment right in the crease just to really intensify that. And of course, let me that out. What I'm going to do now is cut my crease. I would say this is a little bit more advanced if you're not used to this. You can totally skip this step. I just really wanted a defined crease for this look. This is the only look where I'm doing this. I'm just using uh, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. You can use Tarte Shape Tape or any concealer you'd like. Just using that on a really tiny Alomar concealer brush. It's really good, you guys. Since I've done the crease, I'm taking another concealer brush with nothing on it and I'm just blending that concealer down uh, so that it's not as sticky. And now I'm taking the shade Bang Bang and I'm going to be placing that on top. I would wet your brush if you're using the shimmer shades. I just think that they work a lot better or even using your finger. Now I'm going to take the shimmer shade called Young Love and I'm going to add this to the outer corner of my eye. I didn't realize uh, when I first mapped out this look that I would be cutting the crease so far. So I'm just adding this here and then making sure things are blended again. Now I'm going to take the pencil called Love Drug. I believe this is part of the Naked Cherry collection. Uh, it's basically just a shimmer version of Alkaline. And I'm adding this to the waterline and along the lower lash line. 
And then I'm using the pencil shot pencil side of the brush that was provided in the palette, smudging that out. And I'm gonna just use the shades that I used in the crease uh, and add them down below. So as you can see, I'm just layering up the product and then I am blending that out with more of Juicy. This is such a pretty shade of peach. I really enjoy it. And I'm adding more of Bang Bang on the inner third of the eye and then adding more of Young Love to the middle of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking the highlight shade from the Blush and Highlight palette. It's just like a white that shifts kind of more pinky, so I thought this would be a nice addition to the inner corner. Next thing I'm going to do is just draw a wing. Now for lashes, I'm going to finish this off with the House of Lashes Stella Luxe Lashes. I am going to be using House of Lashes for each of these looks today. And this is the completed look. Alright, look number two. I'm going to be starting off with the Alkaline Pencil as well. This time I'm going to be uh, placing this on the inner and outer thirds of my eye. To start this off, I was thinking I was going to do a halo eye, and then I kind of changed my mind halfway through. Okay. So, after I blended that out, I set it with a powder. Going to be taking the shade Feels, Feels with a Z, yes, <laughs> on a fluffier blending brush. This one is from Suba Beauty, and I'm just running this all along my crease and upper crease area. Um, as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Bing and I'm taking that on a MAC 217 brush and I am adding this to the outer and inner thirds of my eye as well as in the crease. Then I'm going to be taking Hotspot on that fluffy blending brush and making sure everything is nice and blended. Now I'm going to be taking Privacy on this, the pencil type of brush that I used in the first look and darkening up the inner and outer thirds of the eye. And then I'm going to be taking Drunk Dial on my finger and adding this to the lid. So I thought I was going to do a halo eye for this look, but then I saw this shade and I was like, hmm, let's do a smoky eye. So yeah, that's what I decided to do. Hope you guys like it. It is a pretty shade. And then I'm going to add more of um, alkaline pencil to my lower lash line, smudge it out, and then we're going to add the same shades that we used above, below. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Turn On and I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just using my finger to do this. Then for lashes, I'm going to pop on the House of Lashes Allura Light Lashes. And this is the finished look. Alright, so to start off look number three, I'm going to be taking the Double Life Liner Pencil. All the liners are from Urban Decay, by the way. I didn't really disclose that at the beginning. Um, so I'm going to be winging this out, and then I'm going to take my smudging dual fiber brush and just smudging that out. Just making it a bit thicker here because I realized it would be pretty thin. <laughs> then I'm just taking the shade Ambitious and I'm going to be packing that on top of where I drew my wing. And the shade is so pretty. I think this might have been like one of the more pigmented shadows in the entire uh, palette. Now I'm taking the shade Caution on another MAC 217 brush, making sure it was blended. Now I'm taking the shade Privacy and I'm going to be darkening up the underside of the wing. 
So right there along the lower lash line and right where it wings out. And then I'm going to pick up my brush with more of Ambitious and make sure these are blended. Now for the crease, I'm going to be taking the shade Juicy. And I just really wanted a soft shadow in the crease. Now to get a really sharp wing, you just take a wipe and you just, you know, get that really sharp wing. <laughs> no tape required. I mean, if you need tape, fine. So then you just take your concealer brush and you just make it really sharp. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm taking Bang Bang. And then for the lower lash line, I'm taking the same liner. This is the Double Life Liner. Smudging it out with more of, what is this, Ambitious. And blending that out. And then we're popping on the House of Lashes, Midnight Luxe Lashes, and this is completed look number three. Let's talk my final thoughts on the collection. Um, I think that the palette is very nice. I definitely think that uh, Urban Decay has been improving their shadow quality especially since the naked heat palette i love the color scheme of it the only thing uh there is a lot of kickback in the pan so if that's something that you worry about then you probably won't be happy with that for me i don't really mind are they overly pigmented i mean no but it is a really beautiful cohesive palette perfect for like the average everyday makeup goer i do enjoy this highlight and blush palette blush i felt like i was really like really trying to dip in there to get some pigment however that is good for someone who likes to go heavy-handed well someone who goes heavy-handed with their blush by accident so it is like very buildable the highlight shades are absolutely beautiful they just are so bright and i really like that all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me which look was your favorite or if you'll be recreating any of these. If you do have the palette, let me know down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I definitely have a lot of videos coming. There's a lot of stuff that I need to get to. So please stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.